Hello guys, I am Devanshu Sharma, iOS Android developer. Welcome to you to another lecture from Confluence Labs. And in this video lecture, we are going to learn about an extremely useful framework named Eureka. Using Eureka, you can create complex and complicated table views within few minutes. Let me show you how. First of all, let's create a sample project. Create new project. Single view application. Let's name it table Eureka next create let's go to google search here eureka ios click on the first github link from smart labs so this is the framework that we are going to use you can scroll down a bit and you can see the example of complex table views containing uh, image picker date picker switches and uh, multi selection options and so many complex things you can create such table view views within few minutes using this framework okay so let's start first of all let's integrate this project uh, this framework to our project for that let's search pod okay pod eureka so let's close our project open the terminal let's go to the project directly project is on is on desktop and its name is table eureka okay now inside the directory we will write pod init to initialize a pod file to create a pod file now the pod file is created so i'll paste the name of the pod that i want to install here okay so if you're using xcode 9 you can simply paste um, pod uh, eureka to install the pods and but if you are using xcode 8.3 or below um, or version below than that then you have to check out the previous releases releases because this current release is only support uh, xcode 9 plus okay so if you are using xcode 8.3 like me then you have to go to releases and check out the previous release that supports supports xcode 8.3 i guess this one is the one which will support so in that case you have to do something like this okay so let's close it after editing it and write the command pod install and enter so it's now uh, installing eureka uh, pod version 3.1.0 which is compatible to xcode 8.3 if you again i'm repeating if you are using uh, xcode uh, 9 or plus then you don't need to write this thing okay you can simply uh, just write the pod eureka and it will automatically download the latest pod and integrate it with your project okay so now let's open our project uh, let's set up few basic things let's go to our storyboard and uh, let's add a navigation controller let's delete the controller that comes with it let's make this navigation controller our initial controller and use this view controller as its root view controller so now we are done with the initial setup let's go to the ui view controller and uh, import eureka here okay instead of UI view controller now our controller will be extended from form view controller uh, if it's showing error then you can try building your project then the error will, uh, would be gone so now as we are done with our initial setup let's create our table view okay so first of all 
I'll show you how to add a section. You have to write form. You have to write three times plus. Then the type. Then type the keyword section. And inside this, you can pass the title of the section. So let's write personal info. And now let's see how you can add a row inside a section. Suppose if you want to add a text field, for that you uh, need to add a text row. Okay. So just three times arrow type of the row you want to add text row okay then here row in here you can add the title of the row row dot title let's say username row it placeholder value let's say again username let's add another row title would be password and placeholder again would be password so let's see what this piece of code has created for us let's run our app is our simulator so as you can see this code has created a section named personal info inside this section it has created two rows username and password okay so not only this let me show you other things it uh, also manages the default uh, text field behavior for you like uh, if you would press done then it will automatically uh, close the keyboard or if you will press press next here then it will automatically pass the focus to the next text field and one more thing if you will scroll your list it automatically close the keyboard okay so eureka is handling a lot of things for you now let's add few more sections and rows to our table view first of all uh, we would change this text row to the password row that would be more appropriate then we will add another row uh, to get the age of the user so this would be an integer row because age would be an integer value okay row dot both would be age placeholder would also be age let's uh, this is basic info let's add another section again plus 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 section let's this one is for personal info let's add a date row to get the date of birth of user row dot title would be date of birth let's run our project now and see what we get now So now we have two section basic info and personal info and here if I type some name this is a password row so it is automatically secured then if I jump to the next then this is an intro so it has uh, it will automatically open the numeric keypad then done then if I will uh, click to this date row then it will open and up open a date picker I can choose any date and set it as date of birth so this is just a trailer eureka has other plenty of uh, ready-made rows for you which will save a lot of time for you instead of writing code for a date picker picker view and other thing from uh, scratch you can simply use eureka so what you can do is you can uh, clone this project okay and uh, you can open the cloned project right uh, like uh, here you can see this is the uh, this is the basic eureka project you can go to the example project here and inside the view controller you can see many uh, different types of uh, rows like switch row slider row and its implement what you can do is you can simply like if i want to use push row to 
show the gender options what I'll do is I'll simply copy this I'll place it here I'll see it the title would be gender instead of emoji I'll be using string and string options would be male female or other okay and choose a gender okay so let's leave the default value to empty let's uh, change the dismiss on selection value to true and let's see how it works okay so as you can see it has added uh, one more row push row here to select the gender let me click on the push row if i'll select any of the option then dismiss on selection is true here so it will automatically dismiss right so the female is selected male is selected okay so this is a single selection thing let's uh, for multiple selection we have uh, something like multiple selection row here multiple selector row again simply copy it and uh, paste it here and again instead of emoji we have string options let's name it language and uh, let's the option be english Hindi, say Tamil, let's say Urdu, Chinese, French. Uh, that's enough. So let's the default value be nothing okay so it is calling uh, some function on the press of uh, uh, done action uh, it is calling some function so we have to copy that function too so this one is the function multiple multiple selector done so here's the function let's copy this function and uh, paste it outside you did load and instead of rules example view controller this is an our view controller okay so let's run it what we would get so this is gender we created earlier this is multiple selector in this we can select multiple things done and you can see multiple uh, languages is added we can remove again so this eureka framework has so many possibilities you can cre create action sheet row you can create alert row so many possibilities uh, but uh, let me show you uh, one more possibility uh, and that is a switch row so what i want now uh, we will we would be having the switch row right here switch row row in let's uh, row dot title would be one provide personal and form okay let's give a tag to this row row dot tag would be like uh, say um, switch okay so what uh, i want is now uh, there would be uh, let's run it first
so what i want is when this uh, switch is on on uh, only then this section should be visible because uh, when the user say yes i want to provide uh, personal info only then this uh, section should be visible otherwise this sec uh, this section should be hidden so what i'll do is let's uh, this is the section that i want to hide and hide section in okay so so the code to hide something is i can search here hidden example is given so here's the example i'll simply copy the code i'll paste it inside it dollar zero shows the section or row so i'll pass the section here so this section uh, would be hidden on a condition which would be depend on a uh, on a, a row uh, which has the tag this so i want it to depend on the switch which has a tag switch so i'll replace the tag with this and uh, let's run it so as you can see initially uh, the switch is uh, closed uh, the switch is off and uh, this i uh, this section is not visible the personal info section is not visible if i switch on then if i on the switch then the personal info section is visible and so this is how eureka framework really works and seriously guys this is just a trailer you can do so many things using this uh, eureka framework you don't need to write the code from scratch uh, you can just use the ready-made rows okay and how easily you know, it works you can see so like here you can see you can add rows uh, that you can delete you can add rows in which you can add multiple values you can add a new row and you can also delete it so there are so many possibilities uh, while using this eureka framework i'll recommend every ios developer should use it to speed up his development okay so last thing a uh, very important thing is to fetch value from each row so getting row values this is the section so here you can simply uh, get the row from its tag you can give uh, a unique tag to each row and you can get the row from its tag and then you can fetch its uh, value by row dot value you will um, if you are using a text row you will get the value in a string inside this variable so that's it from uh, from my side now and if you have learned something from this video then you can like the video you can subscribe our channel you can share this video and uh, if you want to learn if you want a personal training for ios development then you can contact me via gmail or uh, through a phone call the phone number and gmail id is provided in provided in the description of the channel so thanks for watching the video have a nice day